Sean, it's too late. Few series have changed as much as Resident Evil has. Going from a moody survival horror franchise to an action-packed blockbuster franchise. The newest entry takes us even further than ever, ensuing most of its horror roots in favor of more action. But has it gone too far? You'll love the four unique intersecting plot lines. Though each of the four campaigns could technically function on its own, they work together to tell a massive, fascinating story that's much larger than those told in past games. Each campaign builds on the other, adding layers of complexity and context to every situation. They even intertwine at times, which can lead to situations of four-player co-op with strangers online. You'll hate the mostly terrible boss battles. Invincible or nearly invincible bosses are a staple of the series, but never before have they been more annoying. In all the campaigns, you'll fight the same bosses over and over again, futilely emptying your weapons in unnecessarily long encounters. And if that boss battle takes place when plot lines intersect, you might have to do it again in a few hours. <clears throat> for a college campus. You'll love the improvements to the controls. The tank-like controls of the past are gone, replaced with much more fluid shooter mechanics that finally bring Resident Evil to the current generation. Though the cover system isn't great, the gunplay is extremely strong, making for frantic, intense shootouts. You'll hate the nearly non-stop quick-time events. Far too often, situations that could be accomplished with traditional controls are instead presented as quick time events in Resident Evil 6. They rarely add to the situation and sometimes have weird difficulty spikes that make otherwise simple selections a hassle. You'll love the massive amount of content. Each of the four campaigns run five to seven hours, creating an incredibly healthy amount of gameplay to run through. Other game modes, including Agent Hunt and the Mercenaries, can keep you playing for even longer, making RE6 one of the lengthier games in the series. You'll hate running out of ammo all the time. Damn it, out of ammo! Ammo feels like a rarer commodity in Resident Evil 6 than it was in the last few games, likely because the gameplay is much more reliant on shootouts. This turns the minor inconvenience into a non-stop source of frustration, as opposed to making things more tense or scary. Resident Evil 6 is worth applauding for creating something ambitious and new within the series, but technical issues and problematic conflicted design choices prevent it from achieving too high of a claim. Resident Evil 6 gets 3.5 out of 5 stars.